It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each episode brings you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've unintentionally given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. Welcome to this week's Power Back episode. Look, Power Back episodes are like mini coaching sessions. 8, 10, 15 minutes to get inside of your brain to help you recognize maybe where you have some blockages, where you're ready to expand, where you are like, you know what? I'm ready to make some changes and some shifts, and this is the knowledge and the power that's going to help me to do that. On today's Power Back episode, we're going to talk about moving forward when you're feeling stuck. Look, nobody loves to feel stuck. That's a shitty-ass feeling. But the good news is it's shiftable. So today, we're going to break down, first and foremost, what does it look and feel like to be stuck? what's causing you to feel that way, and then grounded, practical, very simplistic ways to move through that. So you're no longer feeling stuck, but rather more in control, more confident, and ready to do the shit you came here to do. Before we get into that today, I want to remind you that I have a free quiz on my website. It's called the Power Leak Quiz. You can take it at lauraora.com. And basically, I don't know, five, six minutes tops, you can take this quiz and it's going to expose to you one of the primary ways that you unintentionally give away your power. The top ones are mind, time, voice, presence, and money. And I think it's really interesting. There are two that always soar to the top. And sometimes we find out also you don't have a power leak, but rather there are some new or different opportunities to look into. So if that intrigues you, it's a free quiz. Go to lauraora.com and I would love to hear which one you got. So shoot me a message on whatever platform you follow me on. I'm on TikTok and Instagram the most. My handle is at that lauraora. Share which power leak you had and what excites you about regaining that power again. So today we're talking about feeling stuck. Feeling stuck sucks. Let's, I mean, let's just be honest. Feeling stuck is that feeling where you're like, I want to move forward. I'm ready to do something. I want to do something, but I can't. Physically, mentally, spiritually, energetically, from your head down to your toes and everything in between, you're just like, I can't. And that's a tough feeling, right? Because when you're feeling stuck, there's no momentum. There's no movement. Feeling stuck means that you're in the same place that you were before, but that's not necessarily where you want to be. The interesting thing is, you don't always recognize when you're feeling stuck. And what I mean by that is, we go through life and routines and habits like without even thinking about it, right? You're getting up and you're running your business, you're moving about your day with your family, you're talking to similar people, you're answering emails a certain way, like you're just going through your daily routine. And it's not always inherently obvious that what you're actually feeling is stuckness. And so if we're not recognizing that you're stuck, then you can't shift it. And if you can't shift it, you can't move through it. And then the hamster wheel of thoughts, feelings, and emotions continue. While there are many different reasons why you may feel stuck, I want to share with you a couple of the most common ones. So these are things to be looking out for. First and foremost, you want to make a change, but you physically, mentally, or spiritually cannot. Like there's just something in you, you feel like you want to move, but you can't. You want to make a decision, but you can't. Like, it's literally like your feet are planted in cement and you cannot move. The crazy thing is your brain is usually aware. For instance, I know that I want to gain more exposure. I want to talk to more people within my business, but I will not for the life of me hit record. I know that this friendship is really starting to drain my energy and I need to have a conversation, but I cannot for the life of me open my mouth. I know that I'm ready to grow my finances, but I will not look at my current number financial situation. That's what I mean by wanting to make a change, but physically 
and emotionally unable to. Another thing that causes the feeling of stuckness is being completely overwhelmed by too many thoughts or options. This is like freeze mode, where you know that there's something that you want to do, but there are like 50,000 scenarios and avenues that you could go. So your body just goes, I have no idea. That's way too many. So I'm just not going to do any of them. Your brain, (laughs) you've heard me say this before, your brain is the loudest voice that you will ever hear. And when you're feeling stuck by your thoughts, you're literally just sitting in a sea of your own thoughts and feelings. And when that takes over, you're not moving. You're just listening. And don't get me wrong, listening has its own time and place. But when you're not able to take action, when you are feeling overwhelmed, you start to feel stuck. And when you feel stuck, nothing is moving. And the last most common one that I see more often than not, is constant frustration. Like, shit is just hard. Like, you're pushing a barrel up the side of a mountain, you're spinning your wheels, you're forcing things to happen. It's like every single thing that you do in your life, in your business, in your home, in your friendships, it's like everything feels like you are pushing a boulder up the side of a mountain. When you are forcing things on a consistent basis, you're going to feel stuck. Because you're going to feel like things are always going to be hard. Like everything is always working against you. And that's not really inspiring to want to start something new. Because you're like, I can't push one more boulder. Now I could go on a total side tangent with you here and say, is that actually true? Is everything truly that difficult? Or is that the story and the limiting belief that you have attached yourself to? If you want to unpack that, let me know. You can go to my website and book a call. We'll talk about that shit. So if you're feeling stuck, I think it's also really important to understand what's making you feel like that in the first place. Because when you can recognize, hey, I'm feeling stuck and let me unpack. Let me look further down the line to say, okay, what is causing me to feel like this? That gives you a tremendous, tremendous amount of knowledge and power to be able to recognize it early so that you can start shifting it. Otherwise, if you're not recognizing what's causing it, it will continue. So one of the top things that I see that causes people to feel stuck is indecision. This is that very neutral gray area between what you want, somebody else wants. The yeses and the noes. The I'm going to versus the I'm not going to. This is the area where people don't want to own up what it is that they truly want and what they truly desire and end up just kind of being wishy-washy in between. A lot of indecision comes from the worry about the other people in your life. What are they going to think? What are they going to feel? What do they need? And you often end up putting your own needs and your own decisions on the back burner. The biggest problem with this, besides the fact that you're not honoring your own needs, my friend, (laughs) is that indecision is keeping you stuck. Indecision doesn't allow you to move forward. It keeps you in that gray space. So if you want to move out of this space, allow yourself to make a decision. Like simply decide. I'll give you a quick example. The other week I was sitting on my couch at home and my brain was like, Laura, you should get up and do this stuff around the house. And my body was like, Laura, you should sit here on the couch because we need to relax. And in my brain, I started playing this ping pong game, the silent ping pong game. No one else can hear of, I feel bad about getting up. I feel bad about sitting down. If I do this, I'm doing the wrong thing. If I do that, I should have done the other thing. And I'm like, literally out loud, I was like, what are you doing, Laura? <laughs> like, We are creating a problem where there isn't a problem. The problem was I was in a space of indecision. I had not decided that I was going to sit and relax and or I have not decided that I'm going to get up and do the things around the house that needed to get done. And the second that I decided today I need to rest, today I need to relax, right now what my body needs most is to sit on this fucking couch. The second, I'm telling you the second that I decided that, all of that noise in my brain went away. Guess what? That house stuff is not going anywhere. It will be there when my body is ready. But right now, I'm going to honor my own needs and I'm going to make the decision 
that I am going to sit here and watch this movie and allow myself to rest. That dovetails right into the next emotion that is causing you to feel stuck, which is guilt, shame, or shoulds. I should get up off this couch. Oh, I feel really bad if I'm sitting here because then I'm not being a productive member of this household. Oh, I feel really shameful sitting here watching this movie because that's lazy and that means that I'm a shitty person. Okay, we're... Stop with the brain noise. I I say this so lovingly, but you've got to catch yourself in your own mind bullshit. Because otherwise, she will run that marathon until there is no more road to run on. And then she'll find a dirt road and a side road, and she'll just keep running. She's got Forrest Gump written all over her. So catch yourself when you start feeling guilty about stuff, when you start feeling shameful, when you start having that negative self-talk and saying, I should. Gosh, if you can catch how many times, if you grab a pen and you get a post-it and you tick mark in one day, how many times you say the word should, your face is going to melt off. The shoulds, the guilt and the shame are one of the top things that are keeping you stuck. And you want to know what else is? Your plate's too damn full. You have packed your life full of roles and responsibilities and have tos. And there's not enough get tos. My friend, your plate is really full and it's really hard to feel inspired and excited to do new things if you're constantly balancing 50,000 plates above your head. It doesn't leave any room for fun, creativity, for flexibility. It doesn't give you the opportunity to be curious to try new things. And when you're not trying new things, you're staying in the same routine. And if you're anything like me, staying there for too long leads to feeling stuck. So how do you get unstuck? How do you move through the motions and get to a place where you're feeling momentum, feeling excited, where you're feeling inspired and curious and you're trying new things and like... There's just an ease and a quietness in your mind because you're like, I'm not constantly feeling weighed down by this thing that has kept me stuck for so long. First, foremost, and always, recognize when you're feeling stuck. I gave you a couple cues earlier, and some of those may align, and there may be different reasons why you're feeling stuck. But first, if you can recognize and notice, hey, I'm feeling kind of stuck right now. Or I'm feeling irritable right now. What's going on? Oh, I feel stuck. I feel angry right now. What's going on? Okay, I feel stuck. I want to move forward and I don't know how to. I'm feeling stuck. I'm wavering back and forth between two different options. I'm feeling stuck. When you start to notice this, this gives you the power to choose differently. Because if you do not stop, If you do not give yourself permission to pause and notice what thought, feeling, or emotion you're experiencing, this will continue. When you notice it, you can stop. And that is my second suggestion, is to notice and then simply pause for a second. Stop doing what you're doing. Get up from your desk. Turn the radio down or hell, maybe you need to turn it up. Whatever it is that you are trying to force, push, or argue against, just pause for a second. Then ask yourself, what's causing this? And what do I actually need right now? The example of the couch earlier, when I paused, I was like, what is causing this? Oh, I feel guilty. I feel guilty for sitting here, for feeling like I should be doing something else. That's actually not really important, is it, Laura? What do I need right now? I need to rest. And then I honored it. So by asking yourself, what is causing this? And what do I need right now? You're going to feed yourself permission to do that thing. That's the last step, is to decide and allow. Decide what you're going to do or not do. Decide if you're going or if you're not going. Decide if you're increasing your prices or not. Decide if you're going to be friends with them or not. Decide if you're going to sit on the couch or clean your office. And then allow yourself to do that thing. Look, this is a muscle. 
And at first, it's probably going to feel a little bit uncomfortable because it may, it's probably been a hot minute since you've honored yourself in this way. But I can promise you this if you start to build the muscle of listening to your body, of listening to your soul, of tuning in to recognize I'm having a feeling right now, what is it trying to tell me? It gives you the knowledge and the power to start to make the necessary changes to get you out of that cycle. And one of my favorite parts about this is, because it is a muscle, the more you use it, the stronger it gets. And the stronger it gets, the more you and your feelings become a non-negotiable. You don't have to stay stuck. Staying stuck is a decision. And while there may be life circumstances that pop up that jolt your ass for a minute, at the end of the day, you get to decide if you're going to stay spinning your wheels in the mud or if you're going to actually truly listen and honor yourself for the first time in a while and make the decisions that propel you forward to get to where you want to be in this life, to build the business that you dream of on a regular basis, to travel to the places that you pin on Pinterest, to have the peace and the ease and the calmness in your mind that you you daydream about, to make the type of money that you desire, to have the friendships and the relationships that you desire, and to have the confidence and freedom that you know lives within you. Each and every one of those things and so much more comes from the decision to hear yourself, honor yourself, make decisions, and choose that, you know what? I'm not going to stay stuck anymore. Now I'm going to start fucking living. (laughs) Always keeping it real here on the Gutsy Podcast. Listen, if you are interested in finding out where you may be unintentionally giving away your power, take the free Power League quiz at lauraora.com. Next week on the Gutsy Podcast, episode 145 is about building your confidence. So if you're ready to like light that fire in yourself so that you carry yourself well, you show up the way that you want to, and you just you take up space in a really beautiful way, next week's episode with Gail Petrillo is going to be for you. Connect with me on social. You can find me the most on TikTok and Instagram using at that Laura Aura. And as always, until I see you next time, stay gutsy.